when it turned out to the historic launch of the space shuttle Endeavour. It is scheduled to lift off at 8.56 a.m. Eastern Time. CBS News will have live coverage of the launch. For a preview now, though, we want to join CBS News correspondent Mark Strassman, who's at the Kennedy Space Center, with more. Mark, first of all, how are things looking for the launch this morning, especially in terms of weather? Good morning, Erica. We've got about two hours or so and a little less until the launch happens. Uh, and NASA's only worry at this point apparently is some cloud cover uh, off to the west. Otherwise, it really all looks perfect to launch. I want to show you something now. That's a live look at Endeavour on the pad you're seeing. The six-man crew, including its commander Mark Kelly, are all on board. A very excited thumbs-up mood this morning as they walked in. They're strapped in now, fueled up, waiting to go. This will be Endeavour's 25th and final flight as the 30-year space shuttle program is about to come to an end. Now, here to watch the liftoff in person is Arizona Representative Gabby Giffords, the wife of Shuttle Commander Mark Kelly. She'll watch the launch in private with other crew family members on the roof of the Launch Control Center. It's her first public appearance since she was shot in the head in Arizona back in January. Doctors have cleared her to be here. She arrived yesterday, and like everyone else here uh, on hand, uh, she is hoping for a picture-perfect launch for her husband and for the other five members of the crew. Erica? And there is, of course, a lot of focus on her and her attendance there, but there is also a mission at hand here. What exactly will the crew of Endeavour be doing? They're going to be uh, doing a couple things, Erica, the most significant of which is they're going to be taking a $2 billion uh, science experiment up to the space station. Essentially, it's, going to, uh, the, it's a device that will capture uh, cosmic rays, help scientists uh, understand the origins and the makeup of the universe. It is one final ambitious experiment for the shuttle program as it comes to an end, Erica. All right, we'll be following it along with you. Mark Strassman at the Kennedy Space Center this morning. Mark, thanks.